डू यू गाइज सेंस दैट दैट पीपल कैन नाउ भी परहेप्स होपफुल की बॉलीवुड कुछ अच्छा डिलीवर करेगा लाइक डू यू थिंक दिस विल बी अ कैटलिस्ट फॉर फिल्म टू कम लेट स्टार्ट विद लाइक मे बी मो पीपल विल गो फॉर विक्रम बेधा दैन पर वुड हैव गॉन अर्लियर लाइक दे वुड हैव थॉट अर्लियर um i think uh, honestly i think the general audience like people who actually buy tickets they make their decision based on the trailer and other marketing material i honestly don't think all this boycott stuff is probably like even yeah. if they hear about it they're kind of like okay but that's a separate kind of space in their brain from the part of the brain that's like do i want to watch this movie or not I think that part is always based on how good is the trailer. And like everyone was talking you guys were talking about curiosity. It's like if that curiosity is there, I genuinely feel like it's just human behavior for every like that curiosity to overpower everything else. Unless someone happens to be like a hardcore sangi or whatever, like someone who is an actual interested in watching movies, they make their decision based on the trailer. I I mean because you know like even stuff like bachchan pandey or lal singh chadda it's like the a regular like even someone like me who will watch any crap right like it didn't appeal to me i would not want to spend money to watch lal singh like from the beginning that movie was so unappealing to me despite amir despite mm-hmm. kareena like i'm not a big amir fan but like i love kareena so i'm thinking like if i being such a big bollywood buff wasn't excited for it then the average person is of course not going to be excited so i think for vikram beda mm-hmm. i think the trailer was is excellent and i think because of that people will want to watch i don't think it's because of like because brahmaster did well or is doing well that's why people will watch that but do you think mm-hmm. that if brahmaster had flopped terribly like you know do you think that would have created more mm-hmm. skepticism इन दैट एवरेज पर्सन माइंड की सही में ये ये भी नहीं कर पाए कुछ नहीं कर पाए ये नलायक है हां दैट्स ट्रू लाइक इफ इट हैड बीन एब्सोल्युटली लाइक हॉरिबल बिकॉज़ द फैक्ट इज दैट राइट विंग एंड ऑल दैट असाइड बॉलीवुड समटाइम्स कैन बी वेरी नलायक लाइक देयर जस्ट दे हैव नो इंटीग्रिटी द होल थिंग लाइक जस्ट बी ऑनेस्ट इन योर स्टोरी टेलिंग लाइक लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट विद दैट फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग एल्स राइट इवन दैट दे वोंट डू सो देयरस दैट क्रिटिसिज्म ऑन वन साइड um which i'm gauging with brahmaster there's a lot of that a lot of problems with the screenplay and basic like glaring mistakes which is like how can nobody how did nobody fix that before you know with such a big budget and all so yes i think if if it had if it wasn't working the way it's working um it might have been like oh the, you know the next one also won't work which is kind of how we felt with lal singh like it was suddenly everyone was like oh my god nothing is going to work um but i really think ultimately it's still film by film like we need that one film that they just knocked it out of the park they wrote it well they directed it well they produced it well with integrity and honesty and that's the thing that's really going to make bollywood come back because i mean bollywood itself is just being really stupid right now uh, i remember i think jashan you were saying also a few days before that some producers or some artists you know even kind of are taking this whole boycott thing as an excuse for bad work you know that as for boycott hai hamare pe to boycott ke din chal rahe like I think the whole Lal Singh Chadha conversation became up so much about boycott when this was actually a film which didn't appeal to a larger audience. A lot like, of journalists also push this narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boycott के वजह से हो गया. I'm like, please, चलो कुछ भी. But they were saying, don't you feel that? Don't you feel that? ये जो narrative है. Sometimes hmm. we we catch on it like we you know we latch on this whole thing of. Uh, the ideological uh, situation in the country, which is of course not good, but you think sometimes it's like we don't even understand that perhaps the film is just not working on its own merit. And I'm seeing when you say journalists, I have seen like big blue tick handles buying into it, and I'm like, here, nahi hai. I know why you, why I know that sympathy, I know that feeling bad for somebody because I know Amir brings that because Amir has been on the receiving end of it. but it has little to do with amir being uh, you know subjected to whatever he was but more to do with the film just not working on its own 
फर्स्टली आई थिंक दिस एंटायर प्रेमाइस दैट बॉलीवुड बढ़ गया बॉलीवुड से कुछ नहीं होगा दिस एंटायर चैप्टर दैट ओपन आई थिंक इट ओपन अराउंड द टाइम दिस वन वर्क पुष्पा पुष्पा वर्क उसके बाद आई थिंक KGF 2 and then RRR. These three things work, and I forgot which films flopped in Bollywood. But basically, these three films made a lot of money in the Hindi belt. Then suddenly there was this like Hindi picture ऐसी क्यों नहीं होती? And I don't remember exactly which film flopped. Eighty-three. Um, 83. 83 flopped. Yeah. So my point is this entire premise that Bollywood uh, that that question that you were asking that people had lost faith in Bollywood. I doubt that in the first place. so this hmm. premise this narrative was created on flimsy evidence of a 6 month cycle starting from pushpa to uh, chalo lal singh chadda failure but in that cycle bhul bhulaiya 2 was a blockbuster kangu bai kathiawadi uh, led by alia bhat her first solo lead blockbuster spectacle whatever film uh, not like not a drama film basically that pulled in some 200 crores according to reports so i don't understand where this story like this narrative came from ki bollywood is dead bollywood is just because a couple of like big budget blockbusters failed so i don't think anybody lost faith i mean the public which regularly pays and uh, and buys tickets and goes to the theater to watch hindi films hindi film dekhne wale the regular janta um jo kuch bhi dekh lenge types janta I don't think they had these kind of thoughts. That Bollywood se man udgya ya something of that sort, and it was a temporary phase, which unfortunately, what I have heard and what you have also told me, Priyanka, is that which this phase unfortunately scared a lot of producers. A lot of films went on the back burner. Ye wo ho gaya, which is tragic. But it is that as you can see with Brahmastra's success, uh, hmm. it was a temporary phase. It was a temporary phase based on a faulty premise and flimsy evidence. so mm. yeah and again vikram veda will come then rohit shetty's film you, rohit shetty i can't remember the last time rohit shetty gave a flop i think it was sunday this film called sunday <laughs> rohit shetty made yeah <laughs> so circus is coming vikram veda is coming if chup is spectacularly good like a kahani or something on andadhun it might make money there are bunch of like um, bhediya is coming so yeah it, things are not bad mm. as bad as hot people were saying I was speaking to this uh, exhibitor from Bihar, Vishesh, and he had this crazy theory. He said, "When, um, when blockbuster, when when an industry is delivering back-to-back consecutive blockbusters, uh, when that series happens, then a lot of mediocre smaller films also sail through because everything is working around the audience, so they tend to be more forgiving." But when none of the films are working, the same audience becomes very critical, very brutal, and in that scenario, a lot of good smaller films tend to sort of suffer. I, that does make sense when he said that to me because looking back in the phase that Bollywood has had, like in the last decade, we have seen so many smaller films which are not really that exceptional, but they went on to make a certain like seventy, eighty crores. Like, like for example, a Luka Chupi of Karthik Aryan. Uh, I don't think if that film comes out today, it can go as far as ninety. Uh, which it did back uh, in the day i don't think people are ready to pay uh, a ticket price to watch luka chupi which is just at best a very mediocre romcom but what vishek had argued was because everything around that time was working so people were very forgiving and they even went to watch a luka chupi in that uh, so i kind of agree when we say that will ramastra empower other films to work because i do feel that um, uh, sort of this perception sets in ki oh nothing was working like they were she was saying ki kuch nahi chal raha hai 83 nahi chal rahi hai akshay three films are not working amir khan is not working uh, and you know every film is flopping left right and center and when then a brahmastra comes at least right now so much of the conversation and talk is oh opening is fantastic we can set 100 crore plus basically numbers are flying everywhere which is what was missing the entire year for bollywood except for kartik aryan's bhul bhulaiya there was really no film which got the numbers uh talking which sort of had numbers flying everywhere on twitter and news channels and basic conversation and i truly feel that does help and that will help a vikram veda because there is not so much skepticism right now as it was 
definitely uh, on september 8th or till september 8th before brahmastra had opened because a lot of people had doubts also ki ye how will this film turn out it's a, it's a vfx avi film bollywood is not really known for something like this so i kind of agree that this will sort of have a chain reaction for other films coming up mm-hmm.